So what we have here is a patient who just had some sort of surgery that requires them to have continuous bladder irrigation. So what we're doing here is we're irrigating the bladder because there's, there's some sort of bleeding and we want the patient to, to prevent the patient from getting any blood clots into their bladder. So let's take a look at this. The patient will have a Foley type system. I mean, it's still a Foley except it's what they call three ways. They call it three ways because we said kind of to jerry-rig this one. But so here's the catheter that's going into the urinary meatus. And then you've got an out force. So this is your Foley catheter going into the patient. And it's connected to a tube that goes up here that's connected to a bag that's this big. It's about, this one's a 3,000 cc bag. Um, Professor Tatum kind of got this hooked up because it doesn't, it's not staying in here. But this is the size of bag that you should have when uh, you're irrigating. So this bag is connected <clears throat> to the Foley catheter that goes into the patient. Then you have another tube coming out. From there, it goes into a drainage bag, just like a regular Foley. So three ways. One goes to the patient. The uh, other tube goes to the inflow bag. That's the bag that goes into the patient. And then the outflow bag that goes into the drainage bag. So with this one, it is really important to make sure that you have continuous flow, meaning that you should have a bag that's ready, that's continuously pouring fluids into the patient to irrigate the bladder. So if, let's take a look at this system here. So you'll have two bags usually that's hung like this. One should be open because that's the one that's going into the patient. And this is your backup bag. So as soon as one is empty, you should have another one hang already because if this one empties, then you open this one. So you're basically alternating these bags because you don't want these to go dry, especially when the patient is having a lot of bleeding. And you're going to know because you'll see that the urine is either very red or if this is flowing enough and you'll see it flow fairly fast. Probably not on this model because it's not really going into the bladder, but you're going to see this flow really fast and there's going to be a, a, an order for the physician from the physician that's going to tell you whether um, how fast to run this uh, irrigation and professor has this professor team has this hooked up for you so because you're gonna see if it's pretty bloody it gets red or even and if the patient is having a lot of clots you'll see clots all along here so for this procedure, what we need to do is, let's say the patient is bleeding a lot and the patient's having all these clots and it's starting to clog up the system here. We need to get all of those clots out and that's the procedure that I'm going to show you. The first thing that I'm gonna need, or what I'm gonna do is gather all my supplies. So I usually have chucks with me because this is a very messy procedure. I'll have one of these irrigation trays that has the piston syringe in, in there. Um, I think this is supposed to be inside here, like this. So this is sterile, and I'm going to have some uh, normal saline in there. And I'm going to have one of these, and I'm, um, I, hopefully this is, these are not usually sterile, but if they have one that's sterile, I can use it. But if not, this is okay, because I can use what's in there. And um, I think that's all I need for now. I don't really need that. Okay. So I'm going to prepare those, put on my gloves. Take my drape. I'm gonna put that under the patient if possible. So this would be under, but if the patient had legs, you'd do this. Okay. Because there can be a lot of leaking with this. Okay. Now I'm going to open this. So this is sterile. To open it. I have clean gloves on. I'm going to take this part out, okay? So 
this is still sterile. I don't really need any of that. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. And then this is still, that's not in sterile, but the inside is sterile. I'm going to take some of this. Yeah. That's also sterile. Just going to pour a lot in there because I don't know how much I'm going to need. Okay, we'll keep that there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is find where where is the port that goes into the patient. First thing I'm going to do is take my syringe here and draw up some sterile saline. Okay. At this point, we need to be very careful because the patient's bladder might be really full. But if we're not getting anything out, we need to kind of open those the, the blockages up there. So back in there, I'm going to disconnect it. Because that's the, we're pretending that this is the one that's going into the patient, so I'm going to disconnect it. Okay. okay. So I'm going to take my syringe. Okay. So remember that this we're just using this because we don't want to squirt it into the mannequin here. But so this is the one. This is the port that's going into the patient. I want to be very gentle and remember that we're going to try to keep that as sterile as possible. I'm going to put that into the port and again like I said it, we have to be careful because we don't know how full the patient's bladder we don't want to push too hard because that can be very painful but we basically what we're doing is we're I'm just stabilizing this because it can pop out so this is see, see how I'm holding that I'm not holding here because that would contaminate it but I'm sort of just holding that to keep it stable okay so I want to gently just push and pull and push again and pull back. So you're going to want to keep doing this. And what you're going to see is you'll start seeing clots come out. And that's okay. So you want to push again and then pull back. Push again and then pull back. Push again and then pull back. Now, this is, so remember that there's, it's a three-way thing. The other one should be connected to the outflow. So we, what we want to do and see is uh, to see if there's clots coming out into the outflow. That's a good thing. Otherwise, we have to keep doing this. If you're seeing a lot of clots, sometimes you'll push forward. So what you want to do is push, okay. so what you want to do is push, and then I'm going to aspirate, and then push again, and then aspirate, push again, and if you're aspirating and there's a whole bunch of clots in there, just keep aspirating. Take this off and we're going to squirt the rest of that in there because that would be where the clots are. Okay. All right. And then hopefully if you see urine coming out of there, that's okay too. That's good. But if you see that there's a lot of urine coming out there, great. Just connect it back up to the outflow so it'll go out. Okay. But if you're still not getting in the urine and you think that there's still a lot more clots in there, go ahead and repeat the procedure. Trying to keep that as sterile as possible. And then aspirate. Push again and aspirate. We're aspirating some clots out of there. And take that get rid of it and if you see that there's urine coming out we're going to reconnect it so it'll go into the outflow so it should be going to the outflow and what we want to do 
next is to open this bag up so we can flush it so it'll go to the bladder and out again and hopefully you're getting a lot of blood clots you just keep doing this procedure until you get a lot of the clots out and then make sure that this is running fairly fast for now to irrigate as much of the blood that's coming out of there and hopefully a lot of the clots they have this system though so that's if you don't have a three-way valve now there's this really nice three-way valve that you can put on there i showed you that other procedure because they don't always have three-way valves it's nice if you can find one so if you do find one it kind of, it looks like this or it's also called the lopez valve it looks like this it's called a three-way valve because well there's three ports one that goes to the catheter one that goes to the outflow and then one that's open like this so you can access it this is nicer because it prevents you from having to connect and disconnect, connect and disconnect, uh, which increases the patient getting some sort of urinary infection. So what we want to do, this is what it looks like. See the off, there's, a, there's all these arrows and there's an off. The off goes to where you want to turn the valve off. So right now we don't want we want the flow to go into the patient, right? So that's why this is going this way and we're turning it off so nothing comes out here or you can't do anything. You can't um, push anything through here. So what I want to do is I'm going to put fluids in there. This is really nice because then uh, we do what we did with this. So let's just say that that's, that is uh, sterile again. So we're going to take this and take some sterile saline or sterile water okay and get this take that off put that down connect that there and what i want to do is i want the fluids to go into the patient so what i want to do is turn this off it's the outflow valve so you see the arrows that means that it's open here and it's open towards the patient so these tend to get disconnected so you want to keep that stable hold that in place and just push hard and then gently put into the patient we're not going to do that because it's not supposed to go connected here so I'm going to push forward. Same thing that you did. we did earlier. Push in. Aspirate. Push in. Aspirate. Push in. Aspirate until you get all these blood clots. Remember to keep that tight on there. They tend to pop out. Okay. So we got all these blood clots. And we'll put it in here. We don't want that anymore. I forgot to do this okay so this happens and when that happens you'll get urine all over the place so before I took off this is what it looked like so before I took this off what I should have done was to turn this off first that way you don't get urine uh, backed up and coming out of there so okay again let's do this I'm being careful that I don't touch that. Okay, now I put this back. And I do the same thing. Open here. And push. And pull back. Push and pull back. Push and pull back. And I'm getting a lot of blood clots again. So now I'm going to see if if I got all the blood clots out so what I'm gonna do is close this towards where my syringe is and open this up open up one of the ports here open that up let it flow and this should go into the patient and whatever's in the patient's bladder should come out the out port and it should come out here and if you're getting a pretty good stream then you're good to go you don't have to do anything else but if it's still not working and it's not flowing then you might have to keep doing this until you get all of the blood clots out so this i'm going to take out 
since I seem like I'm getting a pretty good flow. Oh, look at that door. I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to put my cap back on. And that's it.